In this video, we're going to talk about a deep look into Kathy Wood's portfolio. Before starting, please do like the video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Kathy Wood's hedge fund, ARK Investment, continues to attract investors in the face of significant criticism as well as losses because of its promises of future expansion. According to Bloomberg, on Tuesday, the ARK Innovation ETF got a staggering $366.7 million, making it the day with the largest inflow in the past 12 months. This week, the fund increased its value by 11%. This week, the fund received a total investment contribution of $447.4 million from investors. The 13F filings for the first quarter of 2022 have made public by the hedge fund managed by Kathy Wood. The firm owes significant stakes in companies such as Shopify, Tesla, and Coinbase Global. In preparation for this piece, we conducted research on the aforementioned filings and selected several significant new stock picks from Kathy Wood's fund. Number 10, Red Hill Biopharma LTD NASDAQ RDHL. Red Hill Biopharma Limited, also known as RDHL, is a firm established in Israel that is famous for the pharmaceuticals it produces, which are used to treat gastrointestinal and infectious disorders. Kathy Wood's hedge fund made a purchase of 861,798 shares of Red Hill Biopharma LTD during the first three months of the year 2022. The total value of this transaction was $2.17 million. Red Hill Biopharma LTD just recently made an announcement that their investigational oral COVID medication, Opaginib, established its efficiency against the Omicron variant while also maintaining the survival of host cells in laboratory experiments. At the close of business during the fourth quarter of 2018, only four of the 924 hedge funds that will track have positions in Red Hill Biopharma LTD. Number 9, ATAI Life Sciences NV NASDAQ ATAI. During the first three months of 2022, Kathy Wood made a purchase of 1.7 million more shares in ATAI Life Sciences NV. There was a total value of $8.5 million associated with these shares. Research into both psychedelic and non-psychedelic chemicals is being conducted by the clinical stage company in order to develop remedies for diseases that affect mental health. Canaccord analyst Suman Kulkarni cut his price objective for ATAI Life Sciences NV from $28 to $27 last month, but he maintained his buy recommendation on the shares. The market analyst stated that the drop in share price at the time was a favorable opportunity for purchasing more shares. ATAI was held by 16 hedge funds as of the end of fourth quarter 2021, which is a decrease from the 17 funds that held interests in the company at the end of the third quarter. Number 8, NEO Incorporated, ADR, NYSE, NIO. The stock of NEO Incorporated, ADR, a Chinese manufacturer of electric vehicles, has experienced precipitous decline over the last year, falling from an outstanding 60%. Despite this, Kathy Wood increased her holdings in the company by purchasing further stock. During the first three months of 2018, ARK invested its holdings into its investment portfolio by purchasing 420,057 shares of NEO Incorporated ADR. The value of these shares was $8.84 million. NEO Incorporated ADR had sales of 5,074 units in April, representing a decrease of 49% from the previous month and of 29% from the previous year. Neo Incorporated ADR's production and delivery were reported to be severely disrupted by supply chain concerns during lockdowns in China, according to a note that an analyst from Morgan Stanley wrote to investors. Tim Maceo's note was sent to investors on Neo Incorporated ADR. The analyst has both an overweight rating and a price objective of $34 on the stock. As a result of China's recent crackdown on enterprises, NEO has been experiencing a decline in user engagement recently. Despite this, NEO Incorporated ADR continues to be one of Kathy Wood's top stock picks alongside other American firms such as Shopify, Tesla Incorporated, and Coinbase Global Incorporated. At the end of the fourth quarter, the database that InsiderMonkey maintains had 924 different hedge funds. Of these funds, 30 had long holdings in NEO Incorporated ADR, making up a total of 30 hedge funds with long positions. At the close of business on the previous calendar year, Ken Griffin's Citadel Investment Group held a stake in NEO worth $180 million. Number 7 Global E-Online LTD NASDAQ GLBE 
Cross-border sales solutions are offered by Global E-Online LTD, which operates out of Israel and is listed on the NASDAQ under the ticker symbol GLBE. The company asserts that it can increase a company's conversion rate for overseas traffic through the use of big data and business intelligence. The share price of Global E-Online LTD has dropped a staggering 60% in the past recent half year. In the first three months of 2022, the hedge fund managed by Kathy Wood added 563700 78 shares of Global E-Online LTD to its portfolio of investments. These shares have a total value of $19.02 million combined. At the close of business on the last day of the fourth quarter of 2021, the consensus opinion among hedge funds about Global E-Online LTD was bullish. According to our database, there are a total of 28 funds that hold holdings in the company, which is an increase from the 22 funds that held stakes one quarter earlier. Number six, Fathom Digital Marketing Corporation, NYSE, FATH. The NYSE symbol for Fathom Digital Manufacturing Corporation, which specializes in 3D printing, is FATH. In addition, this business offers services such as chemical etching, design engineering, injection molding, and tooling, computer numerical control machining, plastic and metal additive manufacturing, precision sheet metal fabrication, and design engineering. During the first three months of 2018, the hedge fund managed by Kathy Wood purchased a total of 886000 752 shares of Fathom Digital Manufacturing Corporation, NYSE, FAF, valuing the transaction at $5.5 million. ARC's holdings in Fathom Digital Manufacturing Corp. are negligible in comparison to those of Shopify, Tesla, and Coinbase Global, all of which are companies in which Wood has made significant investments. On to number five, Atlantic Coastal Acquisition Corp., NASDAQ, ACAH. A significant special purpose acquisition company, SPAC, in Kathy Wood's most recent investment portfolio, Atlantic Coastal Acquisition Corp. is a blank check company that was established with the intention of carrying out a merger, share exchange, asset acquisition, stock purchase, recapitalization, reorganization, or other type of business combination. During the first three months of the year 2022, Kathy Wood's ARC purchased 865,068 shares of the SPAC. There is a total value of $8.43 million associated with these shares. Number four, Shapeways Holdings Incorporated, NYSE SH. PW. Shapeways Holdings Incorporated, another 3D printing company in Kathy Wood's portfolio, is a provider of digital manufacturing software solutions. These solutions digitize the whole end-to-end -end production process, making it possible for industrial-grade additive manufacturing to be accessible. Shapeways Holdings reported a loss of $2.4 million for the period ending in the fourth quarter. The actual amount of revenue during that time was $8.3 million, which was 0.5 $0.87 million more than that was anticipated. Number three, Gancel Limited, TLV GNCL. Gen Cell Limited is yet another Israeli firm that is part of Kathy Wood's portfolio. The company creates hydrogen and alkaline-based fuel cell systems and solutions that can replace diesel generators with clean backup power for utilities, homeland security, healthcare, and automation industries. Number two, Arb Robotics LTD, NASDAQ ARBE. ARB Robotics Limited, which trades under the ticker symbol ARBE, develops sensing technologies for automobiles. The company asserts that the sensing solution offered by its chipset solutions to automobile and Tier 1 companies is 100 times more detailed than that offered by any other radar currently available on the market. At the close of business in the last day of the fourth quarter of 2021, four different hedge funds held positions in ARB Robotics. The hedge fund managed by Kathy Wood purchased 269,401 shares of the business during the first quarter, bringing the total investment to $1.9 million. Number one, Celebrate DI Limited, NASDAQ CLBT. Celebrate DI Limited is an Israeli digital intelligence firm. During the first three months of the year, Kathy Wood's fund purchased 409,584 shares of the company. These shares had a total value of $2.6 million when 
when they were sold. In general, the mood among hedge funds about Celebrate Die Limited was positive as 22 hedge funds tracked by Insider Monkey held interests in the firm, which is an increase from the 18 funds that had stakes in the company one quarter later. Well, what do you think of our video? Please do let us know in the comment box below. Also, like the video and subscribe to our channel for future updates.